Collins in tonight? This rule is working so well for him. Uh, no, I think uh, I think he just got ahead of hitters uh, early, so it kind of let him um, be able to use his off speed really well. Um, you know, throwing a lot of strikes is, is key, especially in a uh, rainy game like this. You know, you don't want to let any any uh, free passes or anything like that. So I think getting ahead of uh, getting ahead of the hitters early, and then going going to the off speed stuff late uh, led to a lot of um, really just good good at bats for him. I know we'll see what happens with the rotation long term, but in, in terms of the energy and kind of the way he's bouncing around the mound, do you feel like the Chad Dallas in the past and, and some other guys you feel like that's kind of what Tony looks for in a Friday night guy? Yeah, no, I think I think you're you're hitting it spot on. Um, you know, he's going to come out there, he's going to compete. Um, you know, until until they yank him. Uh, you know, he throws like I was just saying, he throws a lot of strikes, and that's what that's what you need to set the tone uh, early in the weekend, like like on Friday. So, I mean, whoever whoever it is, if they can do that, we're going to be just fine. Pinky comes in, runner on, air gets out of the next inning, two soft hit singles. He just doesn't seem phased in those moments. What kind of makes him so even killed out there? Um, I think it's really just because he's a left-handed pitcher. You know, they're a little more they're a little more weird weirder than the other guys. Um, but no, seriously, I, I think he just he just keeps his emotions under check really 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 good. And um, a lot of our a lot of our arms do that. Um, and you know, Banky just showed it again tonight. Uh, didn't really let anything phase him. Um, threw a lot of strikes as well. Um, and really just looked good. It seemed like the pitchers all night. They all had their best stuff or their best moments with runners on base. How mm -hmm. big was that to, for those guys to be able to bear down in those moments and kind of keep, keep the traffic off them from scoring? Oh, it's huge. Um, you know, uh, Coach A harps on that a lot. You know, getting ahead early, especially with runners on base. Um, you know, getting ahead to where you can use other pitches just besides a fastball. Um, so all of, all of the guys really did that well tonight. Um, I think that's what led to our success. Just walk us through your home run. First pitch, right? Yeah, first pitch. Um, it was funny because Coach Coach V was kind of yelling from the dugout, you know, get one down in the zone, and uh, I, that one was down in the zone. Put a good swing on it. Um, I didn't really know if it was going to get out of here because that wind was pretty crazy early on in the game. But no, uh, got a good swing on it, and uh, that one felt good to get the first one out. You're trying to get everybody to keep the ball down earlier on, especially it looked like the wind was doing God knows what. Was yeah, the no, that first ball that 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 their three hole or whatever hit out to center. I mean, that ball started probably 20 feet left of the 390 sign and then ended up in the right center field gap. So no, that the wind was playing crazy tricks early on in the game. Um, but you know, you just gonna kind of have to deal with that. It's just part of the conditions. As you work on at the plate this off season, what adjustments did you want to make from first season here to, to going into the second year? A lot. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, me and Coach E worked a lot uh, over Christmas break, um, really just kind of raising my hands up. Uh, getting my bat path more shallow or more uh, more um, level through the zone. Uh, last year, you know, I swung and missed a lot, missed a lot of pitches uh, flying out. So uh, really a lot of that and then and really just kind of working on the mental side of the game as well. Um, you know, kind of getting some confidence back um, and then working on like approaches and stuff like that. Um, you know, I feel like I'm putting some good swings on the balls and we just kind of kind of keep that rolling. What have you seen from uh, Phillips as he continues to develop for you guys? No, I think he's been really good. Um, you know, that's a that's a big dude who's got really good stuff. Um, and if he continues to look like that, he's going to be really dangerous. So, um, you know, keep making steps for him each time he comes out, and I think he's going to be really, really good. Thanks, Al. Yeah. Appreciate it, Thanks, yeah. Al.